Hey there everybody, uh, I'm Adam, uh, this is my first YouTube video, um, I am a certified electronics geek, and uh, when I don't want to buy something, uh, an electronic device, uh, I build it, um, because a lot of uh, manufacturers of electronic devices um, will charge you an arm and a leg for their product uh, even though the materials that it's composed of uh, are relatively cheap to them um, and then there's just the uh, the, the markup factor um, which uh, for which you pay uh, for the uh, convenience of um, having somebody to uh, take those materials and assemble them for you and, and uh, make them into a functioning product um, but anyway uh, any electronic technician knows that uh, there's a few things that you need uh, in the trade. One of them is a soldering iron, another is a uh, good uh, multimeter, and uh, the third is, uh, for those of us that who are a little more advanced, uh, an oscilloscope, um, which is basically a device that uh, shows, uh, shows um, in, a, in sort of like a uh, real-time graph um, voltage change over time. Um, so these things are like, you know, 800 bucks if you buy them new. Uh, you know, probably start at 800 bucks. And um, you know, I, I, it's a simple enough instrument where I really just don't think it should cost that much. So uh, what I decided to do was uh, to take a device that had. Um, one of the necessary components, uh, which is the screen, which is known as a CRT, cathode ray tube, uh, and that that's uh, that can be found in any standard television set or monitor uh, that isn't a flat screen, uh, which is uh, LCD, uh, known as LCD, basically. So uh, what I did was I took something that I no longer needed. Um, uh, what I got here is uh, an old, let me uh, give you a good look at it there, this is an old um, portable black and white TV uh, manufactured in 1991 which was an advantage to me because um, on this circuit board here uh, that I pulled out of it uh, are what are called uh, through hole components. Um, nowadays a lot of devices that are manufactured, most devices uh, that are manufactured, um, have uh, a lot of surface mount components, which are very tiny. Uh, they're they're hard to work with, and uh, a lot of the time, if you don't really know what you're doing, you'll actually destroy the components just trying to get them off the board, or destroy the board, or both. Um, but with uh, old circuit boards like this one, uh, this is an oldie but goodie. Um, and uh, the parts came off really easily. Um, so basically what I wanted to do um, when I decided to make this into oscilloscope is take uh, a design uh, that another guy had come up with. He actually uh, built this scope back in, uh, back in the 1980s, um, which you would think uh, the design would be very obsolete now, but it, the bandwidth on this scope is um, uh, can be up to 100 megahertz, which is very, very good, um, considering it's from uh, the 1980s. Um, 100 megahertz of bandwidth is way more than I need, uh, so that's plenty. Um, and so I found this guy. Uh, he's got a website. He's got the schematics up for free. Um, and I decided just to basically take most of his design and um, replace the uh, CRT. I had to replace the CRT circuitry because here's here's what the deal was with that. Um, the cathode ray tube, because it's so old, uh, I couldn't find pinouts for it anywhere. Uh, the connector, I, I can't tell what pin goes to the uh, the, the anode, the cathode. Um, I mean, well, obviously, 
duh, the, the anode is the, uh, the suction cup, the big wire that you don't want to touch while that thing's on, because it'll give you a pretty fucking hefty shock. Um, but uh, it, as far as, um, you know, which pins to connect to where in his circuit, uh, I couldn't identify those pins, so basically what I had to do was um, take the flyback transformer, which is what drives uh, that CRT, um, and most a lot of the circuitry that came with the TV, um, so that until I could expand it out to a point where I could say, okay, here's where I tap in to uh, with this guy's circuitry. Um, so, yeah, basically, uh, I'm going to give you the URL of this guy's website. Uh, if if uh, you're any kind of electronics fanatic and want to build your own scope, uh, this is a great website to check out. But I'll give you that URL a little bit later. Uh, right now, I'm just going to bring you kind of up to speed on where I'm at with this right now. Um, and uh, after this, I hope to be giving daily updates. Um, depending on if I get any any views, I mean, uh, I know to a lot of people this is some really boring shit, um, but it's it's what I do, you know. Um, and uh, so hopefully somebody out there will find it interesting. If not, yeah, I guess I guess I'll keep my uh, updates to myself. But anyway, um, let's open this thing up here. Fuck. Drop my camera. Uh, Alright. Man, the frame rate on this thing is fucking horrible. Alright. So, let's open this up. Here's what I got so far. Right there. We see the CRT. This is that big fat wire I was telling you about. That's the anode. Well, this thing is powered on. You do not want to touch that fucking thing uh, by any means because it will blow you clear, clear across the room. Uh, when my dad was uh, working on uh, an old dumb terminal uh, back in the 80s, uh, he accidentally touched that on one of the monitors. And uh, he, he said it, it just blew him clear across the fucking room. Uh, into the wall, so uh, you want to be real careful around that thing. And then if we go further back on there, you can see the uh, sort of like a little 